Hi, I'm Joey Costco. I'm a freshman at Syracuse University, and I'd just like to say that the following material was written by me and me alone, and it represents my views on the following topic, and the topic is bandsintown.com. The reason I think bandsintown.com is an excellent social networking website is that it takes something like a niche interest that people have been enjoying for hundreds of years, and that interest is live music and entertainment, and it adds a social media experience to it and allows you to kind of get excited and, and think about and plan out your your live music endeavors on the web and with friends. When you first create a profile on Bansontown.com, you add a picture, add your name, and then you get right into it by selecting your favorite artists and musicians and adding them to a tracked artist list. And what that basically is, is it just shows you where your artists are on tour and if they're ever coming to your area. In addition, it also adds those artists to what it calls a concert cloud, which is kind of like a concert aggregator. It shows almost all the shows in your area and puts them all in like one big, it's pretty ugly, it's, it, one big ugly text, wall of text kind of thing. So on your concert cloud page, over to the left here, we have this little tab that allows us to change some filters as to what shows we see. So um, as you can see, we only have 37 concerts here. Um, to improve that, let's let's bump up the date range and the distance and the ticket price by just a little bit, each one. And let's see what we get. Okay, wow. Over 140 concerts. There we go. That's much better. Let's look at actually some of the concerts. Okay, wow. There's really a lot more concerts. Hit the Lights is actually a band that I track, but Block Party Cartel and Gym Class Heroes are all uh, bands that I don't track. They just Bands in Town just thinks that I like them because they're similar to bands that I do track, which is pretty nice. Getting back to the social aspect, not only can you track artists, but you can also track fans. For example, let's say my roommate Andrew has a great taste in music, and he doesn't. But if he did, and I said, you know what, if Andrew likes a band, I'd probably like him too. If he goes to a concert, I want to know what it is, because I might want to go. I can say, track Andrew, and anything he RSVPs to, if he says, I might attend this, it tells me. If he says, I'm going to attend this, it tells me, and I'll know. Hey. This could be something to look out for. I should look into that concert. Maybe I'll click. I'm going to attend too. It kind of adds that social element to, um, you know, going to a concert before you even get there. You can know who's going to be there, how many people are going to be there, what type of music the people who are going to go to a concert um, like. So you you can kind of get the feel for what a concert would be like before you're even there. Bands in town definitely isn't perfect though. The biggest flaw is a lot of times concerts just aren't posted, and sometimes concerts are just posted under the wrong names. Either way, this often results in missing concerts, which is always a bummer if you love live music like I do. So that's fansintown.com. Any questions, I'd love to address them. Leave a comment, send me a video. That's, that's how I think about Fans in Town.